Wow, I found an incredibly rare stag beetle and I'm the first person ever to film it. Wow, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit the jackpot, but it's not a butterfly or moth. Here in this bush, I just spotted a really rare stag beetle. I'm not joking. Let me show you what I just found. Meet Lepinopterus v. nigrum, a very, very rare species of stag beetle from higher altitudes, presumably endemic to southeastern Brazil, where so far it was presumably only recorded in the provinces of Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. This map represents the currently known range of the species, pretty much endemic to a relatively small area where it is rarely found. Here it is guys. This is a very rare and very small species of stag beetle from the mountain tops in southeastern Brazil. It is absolutely spectacular and it's so tiny. So what's interesting, most of the species here are small. This is a male as you can see by the antlers, but what we call antlers are really its mandibles. Look at those huge mandibles. Let me show you a close-up of this very small one. As you can see, this stag beetle is very, very tiny, very small. And the unique thing about stag beetles in Brazil, in southeastern Brazil, is pretty much all the stag beetles are very small, high altitude species. Uh, most of them are very rare and hard to find. So that makes it a blessing that I was able to find this creature. Wow, guys, this is an awesome moment for my channel. Very special very special moment just look at how tiny it is wow i found this male early in the morning sitting in a bush on the side of the road in sunny conditions where it appeared to be patrolling the vegetation walking back and forth the interesting thing about the stag beetle species in southeastern Brazil is that most species here are really, really small. And although some species are also found in the lowlands, most Brazilian stag beetles are adapted to the colder climates of high altitude. This specimen was found near the peaks of the Caledonia, around 2000 meters in altitude above sea level. Therefore, Smaller body sizes presumably help them adapt to the colder conditions. While the stag beetles are small, the rhino beetles and longhorn beetles can be enormous in Brazil. Yet the stags are often miniature versions of old world species. The ecology of this species, Lepinopter, Lepinopterus vinigrum, is poorly known or studied but it seems individuals show up in primary rainforest, but also in degraded eucalyptus forest. Considering eucalyptus is an invasive species in Brazil, that means this species does adapt in some extent to altered landscapes. Like most stag beetles, the larvae presumably develop in rotting wood or leaf litter. When I say stag beetles, I refer to the family of Lucanidae. The males of many species of stag beetle have huge mandibles and these are used to fight over territory and more importantly over females. As you can see even this tiny guy has huge mandibles. The adults usually feed on tree sap or rotting fruit. But some species of stag beetle don't eat much at all and therefore have very short lifespans. I would have quit YouTube in 2017 if it was not for my patrons on Patreon. Because that was the year YouTube permanently demonetized my channel. Permanently. They refused to tell me why. To this very day. Donations is what gives me the time and equipment to make insect videos. Consider becoming a member on my Patreon for as little as one dollar if you value my content. The biodiversity of the rainforest is mind-blowing and unfathomable. 
Insects are the most important animals for our environment, but receive some of the least attention. People see them as primitive because they are small, but they are really complex and often sophisticated creatures with many secrets that have yet to be discovered. This species, for example, was so rare that multiple scientists have reached out to me asking if they can have the footage and use it to make a small publication. That's right, this beetle is so rare that just me encountering and filming it is worthy of a publication. That is why I travel the world to document unusual species of insects. And only with your help I can afford to continue to do it. Subscribe for more insects! You went too far away. I have an hour, a nice close up. <laughs>